Hey, happy Thursday. It's April the 1st, and some of you may know this day as April Fool's Day. You know, sometimes maybe not known by a lot of us, and I didn't until I did a little research in 1582 when Francis changed the calendar from the Julianan calendar to the Grecian calendar. Uh, it moved the first day of the year from April the 1st to January the 1st. And, and so lots of people were not informed, and so they would play practical jokes on one another. Oh, that was pretty, pretty interesting. But the word of the day today is the, this is Holy Week. And as we prepare for Easter weekend, it's about an eyewitness account. This eyewitness was actually at the foot of the cross, and he was the centurion, the Roman centurion. And for those of you who may or may not know, this position is as a position of authority. Approximately 80 to 100 men would be under the control and leadership of the centurion. And as they were standing there watching the Christ be crucified, carrying out the instructions that the chief had given them to make sure that Christ was crucified, you see, the commander-in-chief assigned this centurion to oversee the crucifixion of Christ. You know, they even nailed a, cross, a, a sign, King of the Jews. The reason why he was being crucified is because he was falsely accused. Falsely accused of trying to make a political statement or, or threaten the authority. But this centurion was watching. And when Jesus surrendered his life, when he cried out to a holy father, feeling that he had been abandoned, the earth began to shake and rocks were split. The temple was torn in two. The earth continued to shake and tombs were opened. And the bodies of many of the saints who had died were raised and, and coming out of the tombs. And they went into the city. And the centurion was watching as this was taking place. And he was heard saying, this truly must be the Christ, the Son of God. You see, it wasn't because of the miracles that he had heard about. And it was not the rumor of his innocence. It wasn't because he was standing there looking at an innocent man being crucified. It was the power of Christ's death and the resurrection of these saints that continued this seasoned veteran, this veteran of death and crucifixion to proclaim truly this was the Son of God. He witnessed it firsthand. It changed him for all of eternity. Now we can take away a valuable lesson that's found in Matthew 27, verses 51 through 54, not to wait until we see, but to believe by faith what is written in God's Word, pointing each of us to this Holy Week and during this Holy Week, and not only in this Holy Week, but in every week of our life, to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. The same words, possibly, that this centurion shared. I'm going to invite you to share and believe truly Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. So can I challenge you to trust Jesus today? Will you join me in prayer? Father, your word's amazing. You teach us by the example of this one who was put in charge of overseeing your son's death, he believed. And Father, I am convinced that a man of leadership can influence others. And so my prayer is that we like this centurion, confess with our mouth, truly, Jesus is the Son of God. In Jesus' strong name we pray, amen. Hey, hope the rest of your day is as good as it started off now, and be careful with the April Fool's jokes. God bless you.